Does your game look like this? Well, no worries. I've spent quite a bit of time figuring out how to get your frames to go above 144 on even the worst computers. Right here, you can see I'm reaching 200 to 300 frames. And also in game, I'm currently reaching 200 to 300 frames still. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is type in startup apps, then turn everything off. This will make sure whenever you start your computer, you have nothing running in the background, taking up resources when you're playing Valorant. Then once you're done turning off all the startup apps, restart your computer. This will make sure nothing's running in the background, so everything we do will make sure you have the best frames possible. Before I say anything else, I do have to let you know that this does give you a lot more frames than you used to have, but your game graphics quality may look worse. Now, your game is still playable and everything still looks generally alright, just it won't be as clean as before. Okay, to start this video off, I'm going to go into the end game settings. First thing you want to do is go to general and go to NVIDIA reflex low latency and turn on on plus boost. If you don't have this, this means you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, but don't worry, it's not that impactful. It just helps a little bit. Next, go to graphics quality and turn everything down to the lowest setting possible. There's one thing you do want to have on if your PC is somewhat decent. If you feel like you need to turn the setting off because it's hurting your frames, you can turn it off. But this setting is called multi-threaded rendering. What it does is it uses more threads in your CPU and GPU, and it just allows your game to run faster. But for lower end PCs, this can actually hurt your performance. Now we'll move on to the window settings. First, find out where your Valorant is located at on your PC. Then right click it and go down to properties. Then go to compatibility. Then go down and click Disable Full Screen Application. This may give you a few extra frames while playing. Then go to Change High DPI Settings and make sure to override it and make sure it's set to Application. This will give you a few extra frames also, but still very impactful to gameplay. Next, you're going to want to type in Graphics Settings. Then there may be something right here, but if there's nothing there and it just says Change Graphics Settings, Click on that and then go to Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling and turn that on. You also may see something called Optimization for Windows Games, but that does not need to be turned on. Go back and scroll down until you see Valorant. Then click on Options and turn on High Performance. Now go to your settings and type in Background Apps. If nothing appears or it says Installed Apps instead of Background Apps, this means you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, you'll see this and make sure to click let apps run in background off. This will disable all background apps and give you a major performance boost. But if you're on Windows 11, you sadly have to do this manually for every app you have. I don't know why Windows made it like this, but for every app, click the three dots and click advanced options. If it doesn't appear, that means you don't have to worry about it. And this may take you a little bit of time because there's a lot of apps you have to disable. Next, go back to the search bar and type in game mode, and then you'll see game mode. Pretty simple, turn it on. What it does is it sets it to the Windows default for game settings, and it does help a lot. I don't honestly really know what it does, it just helps. Next, you're gonna go back to the search bar and type in power and sleep. If you're on Windows 10, I'll show you how to do that in a second. But for Windows 11 users, you'll see power mode and turn that from balanced over to performance. For Windows 10 users, you're going to go to Power and Sleep, and at the bottom you'll see Additional Power Settings. Then you'll see a button that says High Performance. Click that, and then exit out. Next, go back to the search bar and type in Delivery Optimization Settings Allow Downloads from Other PCs, and you're going to want to turn this off. This will help your ping and help your frames. This is the last step I have for Windows settings, and this one's kind of weird. This one requires you turning off your antivirus. And yes, I know, it sounds like really sketchy. But here's the thing. Your antivirus is really good at stopping viruses, but it eats up your processing power. I've seen it take up to 20% of my GPU for no reason at all. Now, it runs random scans, which you can turn off, but it still has that background processing to stop viruses. So if you can trust yourself not to go on weird websites, then I do recommend turning it off and staying safe. This next tip will give you easy 500 frames. All you gotta do is go out of the video, click subscribe and like and turn on all notifications. Okay, sorry about that, but 
I'm really close to hitting 10k and I'm making videos almost daily. So if you like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But this next tip will really help your performance and it's not me kidding around this time. For this, you will have to have a NVIDIA graphics card or have the ability to open up NVIDIA control panel. So I haven't done this yet because everything I'm doing is fresh and new just to show you the complete difference. Then you want to go to G-Sync and make sure you disable it. Valorant doesn't really work too well with G-Sync and V-Sync. So just disable that. While still in the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview and click use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings and copy everything I have. This will give you a huge performance boost in your game. And all it does is affect pretty much quality of the game. After changing all of those settings, I'm still running about 400 to 500 frames in the range. And also remember, I have an editing software open and I'm recording on OBS. So with both those hindering my PC, I'm still reaching so many frames, double than what my Hertz is currently. Also, here's a few extra tips on to decrease input time and better ping. First, go to settings and turn on raw input buffer. This will decrease the time it takes for the input from your mouse to reach your computer. Next, go to your desktop. Open up Task Manager and look at what's using your network. If anything is using 0.1 or above, that means it could be causing you packet loss or higher ping. As you can see here, Discord is causing me 6.2 megabytes per second on network. That means it's hiring my ping or possibly causing me packet loss. So if you're only in a game with just you and your friend, I'd recommend just using party chat to decrease the ping or possible packet loss. Next, if you're in a queue that's longer than 20 to 25 minutes, immediately leave. It may put you into a game that isn't even American. You could possibly be ranging up to 80 plus ping in that match, pretty much guaranteeing your loss or guaranteeing you having a bad game. For this last tip, it will pretty much include anyone inside of your house. Before you load into your next Valorant match, if you have anyone inside your house that you know has access to a computer or a phone, make sure they aren't doing anything like watching YouTube or downloading games or possibly playing a game itself. This is running on your internet, which should be causing your ping to go by 10 to 20. And if they're downloading something, it could cause up to 100% packet loss. And I've dealt with that before. And trust me, you do not want 100% packet loss because your bullets won't even exist. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have anything else you want to let me know or anything else to add on to this video, put it down in the comments below. If it's pretty good, I may pin it. Anyways, till next time, see ya.